April 15th, a gorgeous day here in northern Colorado. We've had snow the last couple days, sunshine all day today, but still a nip in the air. That fits because we're at an FBS facility, a $220 million excellent place called Canvas Stadium as Rams Lax goes live again here with Stream at Sports Productions. It's Colorado State and Colorado in men's college lacrosse. How you doing? I'm Marty Cesario, along with two-time All-American and CSU stalwart Patrick Sullivan. Let's look at the starters for each of these programs, starting with Colorado State right there. Let's look at Colorado under head coach Guy Sarasoli and their starters for this evening. We're looking at head coach Guy Sarasoli right there for the CU Buffaloes. Going with the long pole during warm-ups. Quick look at head coach Ryan McDonald for the CSU Rams. Mansion, fifth year as the head coach, but been around forever with the program, including a 2006 MCLA National Championship. You see Hoff on the left for CSU in white, Kulikowski on the right for CU in black as we just get underway at 701 Mountain Time here in Fort Collins. Flores to Malinowski and a score. First on the board in the showdown at Canvas Stadium are the CSU Rams. Carson Malinowski with the goal. That's two very good looks early here from the Rams offense, finding space uh, right above that crease area in front of the goalie. Now there's a big ground ball there earlier by Nick Chastain in the middle. Ball goes around to Flores. He's able to find the cutting Malinowski for the finish to put the Rams up one. Well, an early glimpse as we look at 9-9 right there. That's a freshman in this place. Well, it ain't too big for him. Here's Chastain. Along the goal line, Malinowski scores again. Chastain to Malinowski, and the Rams are up two here at Canvas Stadium. Very similar to Malinowski's first goal. He just finds space on the crease. That shot attempt by Drew McConaughey, a sophomore out of Princeton, New Jersey. Ooh, a cutter's open right there. That's pretty lacrosse, and a score for Grayson Mitchell. First on the board for the Buffaloes, it's Grayson Mitchell for CU. CU recollects themselves, trying to establish some momentum for themselves after scoring their first goal. They go bouncer, and they do get their second of the night. Comes off the stick of Weston Keller. We're even up after the Keller goal at 7.25. Oh, look at the quick transition from CU. Going to lead to a shot and a score for the CU Buffaloes. Drew McConaughey, the sophomore, gives the Buffs their first lead of the night. McConaughey makes the turn, and he goes over the shoulder of Chucky, and that's two consecutive goals scored by Drew McConaughey, four straight for the University of Colorado. There's McConaughey right there, 41. Now under two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Flores finds a cutter and gets the score. Malinowski has a hat trick in the first quarter in his first game at Canvas Stadium. And I think every single goal has come from the exact same spot. Nice isolation shot of Carson Malinowski. Sully, here's the replay. Yeah, so we got Riley Flores, draws the shorty there, so he's drawn a lot of attention from the CU defense. A lot of heads focused on him. Malinowski finds the space behind those heads and is able to finish for the third of the night. And we're looking to the south and east from our perches here in Fort Collins. We're at Canvas Stadium overlooking Sunny Lubbock Field. This is the home of head coach Jay Norvell's Colorado State football squad, currently in spring camp. Ooh, man open on the doorstep there. Nice late reaction by Farkas. Causes the scrum. Malcolm McDonald gave his body away, and it leads to a Rams possession and a clear. Coming through and scores. Kale Kissel sweeping it through the goalie. And the Rams have tied it up, and there's the reaction from the Colorado goal. State men's Score lacrosse fans. 
Oh, oh this will be fun. Great replay. So let's go oh, ahead. This is 100% <laughs> D unit here. Starts with the fantastic two slide down from Farkas. Good slide from, I believe, Malcolm McDonald. Farkas is able to get the scoop, gets it up to Kissel. She takes care of the rest, runs right down the chute, buries it. Outstanding play and the follow through with the sweep. Kale Kissel as the Buffaloes spin it around now in a tie game, 4-4. Four, four. McConaughey has two goals in this game. Is that a score? It is for CU. Everyone with the delayed reaction. This is going to be an interesting replay. I, I wonder if it hits off of Charlie's back and goes in. He's looking to feed inside. He did have a man on the crease there. Oh, Charlie puts his stick up and blocks it, but unfortunately goes in the net. So great anticipation by Chucky. Gets in the way of that pass attempt over the crossbar, but it hits him and goes in. Yeah, just unfortunate outcome yeah. there. You don't see that very often. Well, 945 mark. You credit Drew McConaughey. He has three goals in this game now. And immediately CU wins the faceoff, moves downfield, and they get a score. That's Grayson Mitchell. His second goal of the game. And the Buffaloes surge with two goals within oh, seconds and seven. regain the lead. And that's a silky goal that will get the Buffs bench hyped up. Here's that play from CU off the faceoff. Just a really nice hard play. Finds uh, Mitchell there right in front of the crease. Cutter in good position. So really the only move he can do is the BTB and he finishes. And a bounce shot with the left. And that is the work of Jake McIntyre, the junior, out of Parker. And that's a beautifully placed shot. This is good defense from Jake Ness. Forces him to a very low angle. And this is a deceptive shot here. I think this bounce probably went in the only place it could have. Goes off stick low and is able to sneak it in. Here's Chastain. It caroms off a defender for CU. Welschlager got to it, and the fans dig it. They like the hustle of the freshman. Get a good look at those guys across the way. And a score. That is Matthew Dowden. Gets the timely goal for the Colorado State Rams. Rams needed that one bad, and that was a beautiful move uh, coming off the inbounds from Welschlager there. Now you like early offense when the defense isn't fully settled. Gets the shorty behind, has some uh, attack history back there, and is able to beat him to the top side and beat the goalie low. Yeah, good note, too. We've seen Dowden play the attack position a lot, so he's not unfamiliar with that crease. We're looking around. There's 38 right there. Matt Dowden, sophomore. And a rebound shot is good for Colorado. That's Grayson Mitchell with the score for the Buffaloes. Chucky noticeably upset. They made a fantastic save. Unfortunate bounce leads right to uh, Mitchell there for the easy finish. Yeah, I was with you. I was about to applaud with all that just happened. Him making that stop outstanding. But he couldn't secure the ball, and you're seeing the replay here. Which was a beautiful save. It's just he was hoping he was stepping in the crease there with the point to the ref, but no go. The Rams will keep it. There's Melanowski. Off the pipe. Wellschlager scores and takes a hit to the face, but celebrates. Now, Welschlager is going to get the glory here, but you have got to see this assist from Riley Flores. This was a thing of beauty. We'll check out all that in the sequence here. Yep, so we had first, we got Malinowski coming in. Oh, right off the top pipe. Had the goalie beat. So we zoom out a little bit. We didn't catch it on that angle there, but Riley Flores had such a beautiful assist with Welschlager with the finish, and he's letting number eight know what's up.
approaching that minute mark. Nice turn, dodge, and score for the Colorado Buffaloes. Pretty piece of work there by Alec Umutia. Sophomore out of Napa, California. So it's the Buffaloes, first to double digits as you look at the replay. Well, just a face dodge there. Rolls away from the defender and solves the goalie. And there is the horn, and that was the first half of this show. It's in C and CSU. Guy Sarasoli's Colorado Buffaloes up four. What we to do is Ryan McDonald and his Colorado State Rams will talk it out in the locker room. Again, 10 6. The Buffs lead the Rams here in Fort Collins. A look at McIntyre scoring another for the CU Buffaloes. Jake McIntyre started contributing in the second quarter and has become nearly unstoppable. The Rams continue their possession here with Gavin Ahern, the freshman, working from X. And he stuffs it through and celebrates. Gavin Ahern gets a goal for Colorado State. I've been impressed with both teams and their finesse around the night. These are normally incredi incredibly low angle shots that you love as a defense. I'd love to see how he snuck this one in and we're gonna get the replay now. So we got Ahern on the Cali line, taken behind with the invert dodge. Sneaks that one, I think right by the goalie's ear hole, stick side. Let's, let's get a second look here. Fantastic slow motion from our camera guys and he sneaks that one in. Jordan Cutter, is he going to try it? Yes! That looked good for Jordan Cutter. On a senior night, the former Thunder Ridge Grizzly able to score for the Colorado State Rams. Number two on the left side of your screen, and we will get a look. And this is visions of uh, old CSU Glory Day practice. Uh, but he comes in from the trail position. Um, Cutter's cut through. He's the last man to come in, finds that space about 10, 15 yards out, and is able to step down to hammer it home. And how about that for a gnarly angle and a score for Jacob Roos. Those aren't boos, that is Roos. The Buffs able to be patient against the CSU zone. Does a real nice job down low, um, drawing the two on one against Farkas. McDonald a little bit slow to come over, and even though it's a tough angle, it's a perfectly placed shot again. 8.33 Mountain Time, and another score for the Colorado Buffaloes. This is getting out of hand. Cooper Weigand, a freshman. Here comes Jordan Cutter. Cutter shoots and scores. He's got two here in the second half. That is a huge goal of two seconds left in the third quarter. And that's beautiful placement again. Both of his shots have come from the same place. You got a lefty goalie, shoots the bouncer off stick hip. Really tough place to get for a goaltender. Let's check it out. And this is a nice strong dodge from a defensive midfielder. Runs right through the stick of that CU defender. And he's able to cash it home to put the Rams within six. And he's earned that isolation shot. Outstanding efforts by Jordan Cutter. Chastain looking to get a shot off and he scores. The senior Nick Chastain gets a goal for the Colorado State Rams here in the fourth. And that's a beautifully placed shot again from the Rams, hammering that off stick hip on the senior keeper. Okay, a couple of different angles at this Nick Chastain goal. Well, and one thing, when Nick is moving to his right, he has such a deceptive shot. He pulls that thing all the way back behind his head and is able to get that tough release that a goalie can't really pick up cleanly, and he hammers it out of that off-stick hip. 
under nine to play here in the fourth quarter. They've had strings of great individual defense where they're able to get the ball on the ground, but they just can't finish the playoff. Well, that's a nice finish for Cooper Wigan, who now has two goals in the second half. And again, another one of those situations, where I don't think you can say there's much fancy to it. Just an attacker taking a shot. Well, when it comes off what we were just saying, defender makes a great play, is able to get the ball on the ground. You can't, you can't get it going your way. Leads to another scoring opportunity for the Buffs. And, I mean, it doesn't matter who's in the net. They're cashing in low angle shots all day. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what's ahead for Colorado State after this contest. Still have time. We're seven and a half minutes. But if you look ahead, they're going to go on the road uh, across the Continental Divide and go to Utah. They're going to take on Brigham Young and Utah Valley, another pair of top 25 teams for the Colorado State Rams. It'll be a total of eight teams within the top 25 that the Rams will have had on their schedule, which is just so aggressive. And then they're already in the Rocky Mountain Lacrosse Conference Tournament. And is CU as well. Up ahead for the CU Buffaloes. They will also go on the road and they will get Utah Valley and Brigham Young. And then they will go to the RMLC Tournament. All kinds of very important in-conference goodness. And then both these teams would like to do well in their conference tournament maybe make the national tournament as well. Down scores. We've seen that throughout his career. Matthew Dowden has a whip, and there he is firing one through and scoring for Colorado State. That was an absolute laser beam from Dowden, and we got James Bowers on the assist. And that all starts with the beautiful ground ball by Nick Chastain winning that 50-50 for the Rams. Finds Bowers on the backside, and he's able to find Dowden for the finish. Gives the Rams a little bit of life here at the end of the fourth quarter. Nothing there for Nick. Chastain had two defenders in front. Now it opens up for him, and he scores. Nick Chastain with a goal for the Colorado State Rams. And that is an incredibly special goal and point for Nick Chastain. He has just tied head coach Ryan McDonald on the all-time CSU scoring list at 92 points for 21st all-time with you know, a couple games to go here for the rest of the season where Nick can continue to climb that list. Just a beautiful dodge. Leaves his defender in the dust, again with a really nice deceptive shot with the lefty this time. Buries it off stick. And the crowd will count down the final seconds. Looks like he threw that one at his own fans. Sadly, the Rams are going to have to wait another year to get back in the win column in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. For the second consecutive season on the home finale for Colorado State's men's lacrosse team, they will watch one of their rivals celebrate a victory here in this facility. Doesn't take away anything from what kind of event they put on here. I mean, Sully, you've been connected to this level of lacrosse forever. This is unique, what they've done. I, I keep calling it progressive. It's fresh. It's thinking, you want to call it outside the box? Yeah, it's definitely off the intramural fields doing some different things. And it's led to an outstanding presentation. We are dialed into the progressiveness. We are a broadcast production outfit that this program has hired to offer you this. Well, for tonight, it didn't work out for CSU. These guys get the victory as you look at some of the highlights to finish things off. Definitely have to thank the work of executive producer and technical director tonight, Phil Mildren, Justin Salvia, Mike Trujillo, Tom Maynor, and Lexi Wines. My partner, Patrick Sullivan. Always a stud in the analyst role. My name's Marty Cesario. This evening, the Colorado Buffaloes get a 16 to 12 victory over the Colorado State Rams. And for now, we say good night from Canvas Stadium in Fort Collins.